This is Dan. Let's talk about the Constitution. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the first 11 amendments of the Constitution. These amendments were written in the last decade of the 1700s. It's a long time ago, way before you or I were born. Now let's get out our coloring tools and our pocket constitutions again, all right? I'll give you a minute to find them, but this time you're going to need a pencil or a pen as well as your coloring tools. So go get them. I'll wait. Now open your pocket constitutions to page 29. On pages 29, 30, and 31, we have the first 11 amendments to the Constitution. The first 10 amendments became part of the Constitution in 1791. The 11th Amendment became part of the Constitution in 1795. So, it's time to color these, alright? Do you see where it says Amendment 1? Okay, here's what I want you to do. First, you're going to need to get your pen or pencil out. Are you ready? Now write the year 1791 next to the words Amendment 1. So here's what I'm doing. I'm writing 1791 right next to those words, right next to Amendment 1. Now write very carefully. Very nice. Very nice. Now these first 10 amendments are called the Bill of Rights. Remember that I'm going to test you in a little bit. The first 10 amendments are called the Bill of Rights. These amendments were written at the same time and became part of the Constitution together. So let's color each amendment the same color because we want to always remember that they go together. Now I'm going to use, let's see here, I'm going to use blue. Okay, you see where it says Amendment 1? I'm coloring those words blue. Here we go. Oh, that's very nice. Now I want you to do the same for Amendment 2. Okay, I'm coloring Amendment 2. There it is. Blue, very nice. Now do the same for all 10 where it says Amendment 1 through 10. Color those words in blue. All right, very nice. You know why we did that? We colored them the same color because they are like a happy family. They always stick together. So when we look at the first 10 amendments, we're always going to see them the same color because they go together just like a happy family. Now let's do the same thing for Amendment 11. First, I want you to write 1795 next to Amendment 11. Okay, here I am. One, seven, nine, five. Nice. Now I want to color it. Let's see. I'm going to use pink. All right, here we go. I'm coloring an Amendment 11 in pink. Okay, very nice. Man, your Constitution must look very colorful by now. Mine is really colorful. It's neat. Isn't this fun? Okay, now let's talk about the amendments. There are seven articles and 27 amendments in the U.S. Constitution. The men who wrote the Constitution knew that future Americans, that's us, you and me, they knew that we might want to change the Constitution through what's called an amendment process. Now remember, to amend something is to change it to make it better. We always want to do better, right? Now these first 10 amendments are called, remember this, the Bill of Rights. Now here's what I want you to do with your pencil. Write the words Bill of Rights somewhere on the top of page 29. Okay, I'm going to write it right at the top there. Big and bold, so I always remember that. The Bill of Rights was written to protect us. Now, history teaches us that kings and rulers were really mean people. They hurt people, and they made children very sad. The Bill of Rights was written to make sure our government wouldn't hurt us. The Bill of Rights was written to make us happy and free. Remember that. The Bill of Rights was written to make us happy and free. Isn't that great? Who doesn't want to be happy and free? The Bill of Rights is a set of rules telling our government what it can't do. It's like a mom or dad saying to you, no, you can't do that. My mom and dad always told me that, and they were right. When they told me not to do something, it was for my good. And we obey our parents because, well, they're our parents. And always remember this, we the people are like the parents of our government. In the Bill of Rights, we are telling our government what it can't do. Now, let's see what you've learned in this lesson. And once again, let's play our game show. Okay, first question. What are the first 10 amendments of the Constitution called? Say Bill of Rights. Say Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights, you nailed it. Awesome. Okay, second question. Why was the Bill of Rights written? To make us happy and free. 
Oh, you are so right to make us happy and free. Good answer. Man, you are really smart. So now I'm going to give you a hard one for the last question. Are you ready? Here's question number three. How many articles and how many amendments are in the U.S. Constitution? Seven articles and 27 amendments. Seven articles and 27 amendments. Awesome! You got it right again. You are so smart. You know, I can't outsmart you. You know everything. Seven articles and 27 amendments. You are right. You guys are awesome. I had lots of fun. The Constitution is a fun document, isn't it? Read it, know it, share it. This is Dan. I'll talk to you next time. Be good. We're together. We've got some work together.